Wow, this is spectacularly bad. <laughs> Okay, so, um, I just found the best thing. Um, I'm currently staying at my parents' house for a couple of weeks and I just found a bag of my very first sewing projects ever. I started learning how to sew um, about a year before I moved out of home and I guess I left them here and my mum kept them. <laughs> I haven't looked in this bag in, since I moved out three years ago, so um, this is gonna be interesting. Let's see how my sewing from four years ago stacks up today, now that I know a little bit more about sewing. Okay, all right, so this is a messenger bag that I made, a satchel bag. You know what? It's really not too bad. I'm surprised. I made it with um, a belt, a thrifted belt, and I'm pretty sure this material was a jacket. I mean, it's not lined or anything. Like, it looks pretty terrible inside. This is actually pretty good. Like, it looks handmade, but it's like, it works as a bag, I'm surprised. Nice one, 19 year old Annika. It even has its own little front pocket. It's kind of cool. Okay. Yeah, so I think this is also supposed to be a bag. And um, this one's not so good. What the hell? Oh my god. Is that cardboard? <laughs> okay, so I clearly wanted to make a, a backpack. I think that's what I was going for here. Um, again, I've used thrifted belts and some of that lovely velvet material that I had. Um, but I've clearly realized that I needed something to help the bag keep its shape and I guess I decided I would put cardboard in here. Don't use cardboard for bags. I'll give myself some points for trying, but this is not a functional backpack. <laughs> oh, hi Ella. <laughs> you wanna be in my video? No, wait, ah. Just, just lay that. I'm trying to do a thing. That's a really gross noise to make on camera. All right, if you wanna be in here, you have to be quiet. <laughs> okay, let's find something else that I made. Uh, okay, I didn't make this dress. I guess this was a dress that I had and I added a lace cutout to. That's not so bad. I mean, I don't think I ever wore it, but. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> ooh, what? I think this was a dress. I think this was a top that I turned into a dress very cleverly by adding a section of white fabric and then some bows. I mean, is it good? No, but I think it was a good learning process for stuff I ended up making later on, like my lace insert dress. Hang on, it buttons up. It might look better if I button it up. All right, I buttoned it up. I guess it needs an iron. That's never gonna happen. That is, that is the dress. It's a very short dress. I don't know what's going on here. I guess that was my attempt at darts. I would try this on, but I actually, I think I would get stuck in it. Um, there's no zipper or anything. So I would, look, this is what it would have looked like. If you can imagine. God, it's short. How did I wear this as a dress? So yeah, I mean, it looks kind of like maybe a clown outfit or I don't even know. I guess it was inventive. Points for being inventive. Okay. Oh God, no. Any guesses as to what this is? This is a chul skirt. Now, a lot of you have asked me um to make a chul skirt or make thrift buy and I think I have yet to do that because I think I was somewhat traumatized by this incident. Ugh. Oh my god, <laughs> no, what? <laughs> this is a really good look. Um, like, 
You can wear it over shorts or like you could just wear it as a skirt. No. <laughs> wow, this is spectacularly bad. All the bits of tulle are different lengths. Maybe I was planning on like layering them up and then gave up. Okay, I've come a long way since trying to make this. Okay. Ah, so there was a point uh, like four years ago where I figured out how to make dresses, circle skirt dresses. And you know what? Like, if they weren't too bad. They fit, kind of, with a belt. But they were really, they were a really good exercise in just kind of learning how to construct a garment and add a zipper. Like, I mean, I did that pretty badly. Ooh, what's happening here? Oh, it's like a diamond cutout on the back. Yeah, and I mean, like, the skirt's not even on both sides of the zipper but I used to just wear a belt around it and then you couldn't tell. <laughs> For one of my first dresses, that's pretty good. I mean, you can't expect to be making like amazing things right away. And what's this? Oh, this is another dress. Yeah. That one wasn't so good. <gasps> oh my gosh! Guys, I found the first ever dress that I made. <laughs> oh, it's really crushed up, but Oh, check it out. I didn't use a pattern or a template or I think like, I don't even think I measured myself. I just kind of flung the fabric around me and was like, this will work. I remember I was able to kind of like squeeze it on sort of. It totally pancaked my boobs because I didn't add like darts around the bust or anything. But hey, check out that Peter Pan collar. That wasn't too shabby. I mean, I can see what I was going for here and I kind of like the design, but like, what have I done with this waistband? No, that's not how you waistband. Oh, <laughs> and I remember I added this cutout here on the back. You might just think, oh yeah, that's a cute detail. No, I had to add a cutout there on the back because I couldn't like actually get it on otherwise. And that was to kind of relieve some of the, um, squashing of the boobs that was going on. Did I try and pleat this skirt? What the heck? I made a couple of pleats on this skirt. Wow. I'm not trying this on. There is no way that it's going to fit me. It was a lot smaller when I made this and I remember it didn't fit particularly well at the time. It is what it is. Not good, but you gotta start somewhere. And what? Oh wow. This is something I did before I even had my sewing machine, I made a dress. Well, I already owned this dress. I think I got this from a thrift store and I added cutouts to the side. I didn't know what I was doing. I basically just chopped, chopped and hemmed the edges. But it was these kind of projects that um, I guess first got me into the idea that you could customize your own clothes. I was pretty proud of this one. Oh, here's the first project I made when I got a sewing machine. These three skirts right here were the first items of clothing I ever made on my first sewing machine. This skirt was the first wearable thing that I made. And I say wearable um, with air quotes because it didn't have a zip or anything. The material didn't really stretch. So I actually had to, in order to wear it, put it on over my head. Oh no, that is not gonna happen. That is... <laughs> Again, I didn't use a pattern or any tutorial. I just kind of lay out my fabric on the floor. And I think in a kind of like semi-circle sort of fashion, added a waistband, which I clearly didn't know how to do. Just kind of, I think, made a tube and then just stitched it on right in the middle there. Hey, but from far away, it kind of looks like something you could wear, sort of. Kind of, maybe. <laughs> okay, a lot of these things would look a little bit better if they were ironed. Obviously, they've been sitting crumpled in a bag for ages. But there's still, like, ironing isn't gonna save this sucker. Oh, good, and there's a little hole at the bottom of the zip there. You would have just been able to see my butt through that. This was my first ever circle skirt. Hey, it's pretty cute. Not gonna fit now, but... This is what it would have looked like. I think I would have made this a couple of months after first owning a sewing machine. Still hadn't figured out how to do waistbands, really. But this is, this is actually, you know, 
semi-wearable, clearly handmade, but kind of decent. Huh, I wasn't completely terrible at sewing. Oh yeah, I remember this. Oh boy. This was a dress that I made entirely out of pillowcases. And I remember being very proud about that fact at the time. The zipper sticks up above the rest of the dress. That's always a good look. Oh boy, this dress. So there was a time around sometime in 2011 where the internet and Pinterest were obsessed with birds. So I made a really terrible dress, which I don't think ever really fit or looked good. And I painstakingly painted all of these birds on by hand, but clearly lost interest somewhere around here. I mean, like, sewing wise, the techniques that I used here are not terrible. And this Peter Pan collar is actually attached pretty decently. I think when I actually put this dress on, I had inserted the zipper in such a way that there was always this lump on my back. So I used to wear it with a cardigan so you couldn't see the lump, nor that I had just not bothered to paint the rest of the thing. Oh, it's all about the shortcuts. Oh, I remember this. This was actually good. This was a circle skirt that I made with an elasticated waistband and suspenders. And it was actually really cute. Yeah, I wore this a lot. Oh, I should make another one of these. I think I made this one probably about five or six months after first learning to sew. So you can see that I am actually getting a little bit better. Oh, oh, oh. Can we talk about the galaxy trend? Again, I think it was 2011, 2012. Galaxy everything was very in. And this was one of my very, very first DIY projects. I basically just grabbed a t-shirt and sprayed it with a bunch of bleach. And then I've cut the bottom here to, I don't know, maybe it was supposed to tie up. I think it was just to give it a really drapey look and kind of make it a crop top. Oh yeah, galaxy trend! What is this? <laughs> this is a printed top. This must have been one of my first attempts at t-shirt transfers. That was a photo that I took with my friend where we decided to paint our faces like cats. I guess that was gonna be my clothing label. <laughs> I must have been like 17 or 18 when I made this. I mean having a shirt with a picture of your own face on it, always a good look. Ah, I remember this. This is when I had just figured out how to make dresses and I was making so many of them. Look at that! That's pretty cute! I used some nice stretchy lace for the bodice, so I'd obviously figured out I couldn't just keep pancake boobing myself. Oh, and added dots! And then added a nice circle skirt down the bottom. All right, I'm gonna try this one on. Maybe. Oh, uh, oh boy. Ooh, that waistline's very high. Jeez, it's short. I mean, that's where my shorts are. And the skirt falls just there. It is very short. But what? I'm actually surprised by this. This is semi-decent. I would have made this about six or seven months after first getting a sewing machine. So, you know, it did take me that long to start making stuff which actually looked okay. So, you know, if you're just starting to sew and you're watching videos like mine or other people who sew for a living on the internet and you're thinking, oh my God, why do my projects not look like this? Just remember, it actually does take quite a while to get okay at sewing. Like I didn't start making stuff that was actually wearable till about six months in. And I would have been sewing like every weekend. The best thing to do when you're learning to sew is to get really cheap materials like using bed sheets and um, stuff you've found at op shops, starting with smaller projects and just remembering that you learn from your mistakes, you're gonna screw up quite a bit and that's okay. Um, practice makes perfect. Oh man, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get this off. I heard something rip. <laughs> I'm stuck. Mom. Anyway, 
that's it from me. I'll see you all in my next video, which will be another DIY project. Hopefully, if all goes to plan, involving my dog Ella. I'll see you all next time. Bye. Oh.